childhood obesity is the modern day plague, with one in three children in most Western countries suffering from this condition, it is a serious public health problem. We know that the outcomes are diabetes, cancer, heart disease and a whole range of psychological conditions. My doctors told my mum that if I didn't lose weight soon then I could suffer from um, a heart attack or a stroke. Since Daniela was about five years old, somebody has said something to her about her weight. Every single day. The saying, stick stones, break my bones, now snuff hurt me. Stick stones, might break your bones, but they heal. And names that scar you inside, and it really hurts. Without immediate action, this generation of children may not outlive their parents. Our programme uses a scientifically proven approach based on four separate strands and those strands are physical activity, dietary change, lifestyle education and social activities. All those combined can make a real difference in these children's lives. Positive experiences of physical activity is really important to our programme. We know that if kids have fun and they feel included, they will be successful. Let's go boys, let's go do it. The camp diet is prepared by a registered dietitian and it's not the typical diet food that most people would expect, it's normal food. But the dietary programme provides it in appropriate portions so that children can enjoy that type of food and learn how to implement it within their normal lifestyle. For children to lose weight and maintain that weight loss, they need to learn and adopt a whole range of healthy habits. That's what our lifestyle education program does. It provides them with skills and strategies so that they can implement their newfound knowledge in their daily lives. I'm making cheesy tuna potatoes with vegetables. How many calories are in one gram of fat? And I'm writing your check, but I'm not gonna sign it. You're gonna go for D9. Are you sure about that, Yusuf? As sure as I am sure I love apple crumble. Okay. The social activity program is extremely important in order for the kids to develop self-esteem, self-expression and self-confidence. Our evening social program includes talent shows, discos, cinema trips, a whole range of activities that you would expect kids to be engaged in in their summer holidays. To achieve long-lasting results, it's critical that the home environment is modified. And through our parent workshops, we teach parents, we give them the skills and strategies so they can develop a healthy home environment. The talk by Professor Paul Gately was very interesting and very useful. Uh, when I came to the weekend, I thought I knew what needs to be done at home going forward, but he added a number of uh, important things to what I already thought I knew. Monitoring every child's progress is an essential part of our approach. This provides us with useful feedback which will reinforce the new behaviours the children have adopted and learned whilst on camp. Our results speak for themselves. With an average weight loss of between two and four pounds per week, 20% improvements in fitness, 15% improvements in self-esteem, and 75% of our kids keeping their weight off or indeed losing more weight, we are identified as the most successful programme for overweight and obese children in the world. You have lost three pounds of fat, well done. That's five pounds, two weeks joined together. Well done, mate. 31 pounds, so well done, that's fantastic. How much have you lost? Uh, 11 pounds in total. Arriving here weighing more than 22 stone, Ian had more than most resting on his time at camp. Step on it. He said we could be on the edge, like diabetes and all that, and heart problems. We have problems with your breathing already during the night time, like, so 
to lose weight is fairly, I have to lose it. Yeah. Yeah, go on in. He was in hospital for 10 weeks before he came here. So the doctors and all were really sick over his heart and all that. The camp hasn't just helped Ian with his weight loss, though. We realised after the first swimming session that he was actually uh, quite a weak swimmer and he was unable to swim a width of the swimming pool. So what we did is we put a staff member with him and we've kind of just started from the basics. He's got a strong swimming stroke, but it was just pushing himself over the edge just to say, yes, I can do this, and yeah, I'm going to throw myself in the deep end and swim. He's just gone up to the deep end and he's getting ready to swim down, so we're going to go through and hopefully catch him doing his first ever land, so I can't wait to see it anyway. Everybody cheering, so it was just great. Like, when I came out, they all just shout me now, man. They just start cheering for me, so I'm really proud of myself. All right, you have lost 22 pounds. What? So yes. well done, mate. Feeling very proud of myself, and I hope my mum and dad is too, because um, it's a great achievement like, to lose 22 pounds and I um, hope everybody can do the same. <laughs>